step. Three ways to win on the ground. There's only one way to win standing. Now you can throw and pin a choke. You can pin, choke, or outlock your opponent when you get older. And the only way to win standing is to ride throwing. And everybody practices standing. Everybody's good at it. No matter where you go in the world, huh? you compete. Everybody does 70, 80% of their judo on their feet. So the best way, in my opinion, to win get good on the ground. Okay, so we're going to cover ground work today first. All right, we're going to teach you some of the basics, and then tomorrow we'll get into some more of the advanced moves on the mat. I never want to do, never want to do mat work in front, because if I'm in front of my opponent, what can he do? He can grab my legs, he can tackle me, uh, and I have to work, yeah. I have to work from behind, and I, Stay on top of my opponent all the time. Okay? Underneath, grab my wrist. Use this as a lever, drive with my legs until I get my hand on top of his head. Huh? Grab the head, squish down, walk in a circle, slide this hand to the other side, chest to chest, no space, slide, grab. Two hands. Give me a show the top. Everybody show me your right hand. Not your left. That's the problem. Not your left. Right hand. Put it on the back of the head. Alright? Left hand underneath and you grab your right wrist. Right hand, right wrist. This way. Huh? Now you push with your legs huh? and you catch the head. Once you catch this head, you keep your shoulder down, you control the head all the time. Hand never leaves the head until he's on his back. Okay? And I walk. Walk. Now he's on his back, it leaves the head, comes to the belt. Two hands on the belt, chest on chest. Controlling your opponent uh, and knowing how to stop his movement from going one place to another. The way you do that is by hooking arms. Uh, right now, we just hooked his arm and we went up this way. I hook his arm and I walk. Uh, even with space, that's the way he goes over. He goes this way. The best way is to hook an arm. Huh? Does that make sense? If he goes this way, I stop it. If he goes the other way, I stop it this way, yeah? It's all about looking on. Okay? Bottom person turns. Top person hooks that arm right in the armpit. Look, spin, drive, cross face, slide your hand on the mat. Let him taste your, your arm, your bicep. Drive with your legs, chest to chest. Finish with squeezing your arms this way. Okay? You got it? Do this, he turns. I hook his arm. Spin, pin, hold. He turns. I want to really try to fight, pick it out. And you're going to hook and go back to Kamisha. Huh? And then it's the other person's turn.
this hand here, okay, it's not saying Aggie, this hand doesn't come across this way here, it doesn't go under the chin, okay, and it doesn't stay down low. Take this hand, snap this key out, but this hand here does this. It comes up, so the elbow pretty much goes right underneath the armpit, this way, huh? bring it up, under the armpit, and then when you're going to turn and throw, you take this hand, this is the direction hand, you take this hand and you drive, almost like you're just going to push their head. Huh? You want it to drive in that direction if you're trying to throw. Okay, so get it right up by their ear. The thumb should be by the ear and the fist should be right by the head there. And you're just going to drive off of that. Elbow in the armpit, drive the head. Okay? Then your feet. Talatosh is body drop. Huh? Your feet drop low. You've got to have a good wide base with Talatosh. It's not Sayatoshi. Huh? It's not saying I do. You step inside on the top of the foot with your first step. Your second step comes around and it goes outside their feet. Not behind it, just outside it. Huh? Out in front of it, but wider. Your other foot, when it comes across, goes there. Wide. Wide base. Right? So hand, home. Here, arm comes up, in, step outside your foot, leg comes across, as your leg comes across, you drive, you drive it, drive, turn, throw. Just get your feet a little quick. Alright, so here, this hand underneath the outfit, thumb by the here, here. No, it's not a read. No read. I walk back, push, and I jump in. And I walk back, push, jump in on it. That way, that way I get that motion that I need, huh? That motion that I need to throw, and I can explode. All right, so we did your combs to tile, that's what you look like. Push them away, jump in, come out. Push them away, jump in and come out. All right, so let's get a partner down the mat just a few times and go forward. Remember, go. he's got to be solid. got to cooperate. Same foot movements, huh? Yeah. You're just pivoting now. Then your legs going across. Same style with your hand. The only difference now is that they have your sleeve. And you're fighting a same-sided person. So it's here. Step. Slide. Collapse on this hand. Here. Rotate. Turn. Throw in that direction. <coughs> Okay? Pull. Step right, left. This way. Slide your hand across. And bring your right leg across. Still wide stance. Still the same Mizushi. Just slide your hand over and do tile that way. Okay? Let's go. More of a throw in this Stepping with our front foot first, uh, left, right, forward. 
right left if I'm on right. Okay, so as a lefty, my normal step on tile is left, right, row. <coughs> Sideways, right foot, when my right foot hits, I time it, so that when my right foot hits, I step off and come across with my left. So I'm right, right, instead of trying to put that foot first, I'm just going to drive off my front leg. So it's boom, cut the corner, pull, left foot in, either tile tosh or one-handed tile tosh going laterally, going to the side. Okay? You look confused. Okay? Normal tile step is what? Left, right, left. The one we just did, we just swung this foot around and did the one-handed tile. We're moving sideways, I'll punch off my right foot and then bring my left across. I don't need to take any step. I don't need to do a pivot. I don't need to get around the corner. I'm already there. I'm here, right, left. Remember how to break this grip. 
Okay, so this hand was through, the arm that's closest to the head, I slide it up, I catch, here, squeeze, bring your arm over, boom, boom, and then lean towards the head. But in the case that you can't get the arm at all, it shows you, take his pants, and you pull them towards you, I'm sorry, grab the belt first, pull the belt, Take your hand, go palm up. Palm up with your hand over your thigh. The hand that's over your thigh, palm up, grab the belt. Pull those legs towards you. Huh? Squeeze with your legs still, put this hand on the mat. I curl my foot underneath his armpit this way. Then I slowly take this foot off and I rock forward. This way here and I rock forward. What I like to do is I like to keep my legs pinched right here. Some people will just sit wide, this way. I like to personally just sit here. I'm, I'm pushing through his stomach or his midsection. I'm keeping this arm tight, and I'm keeping his legs back. This is also like home. Okay? I will not break this pin unless I think I can get his arm. <coughs> In order for him to escape, he's going to have to break his hands apart and free his arms up. In order to get out, you to have to pull it up. And see how his arm? Alright, but this, when his arm comes out, then you can take the arm off. Alright, so, turn your back. The orange belts and stuff. I never know. Alright, here, here, his arms coming up tight. Belt, palm up, pull. Grab, hook, hand on the mat, slowly take this foot off, rock up onto him, squeeze. What's that call me? If he tries to get out, only if he can't move, you stay here. So he got his arm. Comfortable with it. When you go back, you have to drill it. Right, at first, there's no resistance. After that, there's a little resistance, a little more resistance. You have to. You can't go from what you're coming to Randori with some techniques. You know, it'll never work in Randori. It always works drilling with no resistance. You have to do some with 60, 70, 80% resistance so that you're learning all the time to the point where you can do it on everybody all the time. Okay? Again, right foot in, right hand in, not grabbing his wrist. If I grab his wrist, he pulls his arm in. My hand goes with it. It's going to be hard to pull that back out. So I go right hand on the mat, this way. Pull your hand in. You see my hand stays out? I should keep my hand out a little bit. So, especially on the time we Here, put my hand on the mat. Dig with my left. Huh? Get to the point where I'm going to go for the arm lock. It's push, get out, pull through the joint all the time. Huh? And then I go to roll. It's a quick. Roll, lift, throw, get him to his back. Arms as close to the head. Finish the technique, legs squeeze together, push, finish. Person on the bottom, make sure you keep your hands locked together. If that arm just flails up, one, you've been unlocked already, he doesn't need to turn you. And two, he's not going to be able to, to turn you if you don't give the resistance on the bottom. Okay? So let's go. Give a shot. Right hand, sleeve, left hand has to be on the inside. Huh? Inside grip, put your left. Kazushi on top, touch. This hand here, pull it out. You're going to pull it over the lead leg of your opponent. So it pulls this way. Not straight towards you, huh? it pulls over. The direction I want to throw is right there. Everything I want, everything I do, I want to work towards throwing them in that direction. So this hand pulls out. All right, this hand here, I'm going to pull up. My hand's going to go up by his, his ear, okay? And my arm is going to follow right into his armpit. Like right, this right here. Looks like this. Move me a little bit, okay? But my arm's going to do this. I'm going to collapse on that arm. This okay? My footwork. Right, my footwork is one, two. I'm 
pull in this one. Here. Yeah. And I'm going to transfer all my weight across my body. Legs are going to be spread wide. Down, down, this down, is my down, driving down. hand. I'm going to continue to drive with this hand in that direction. This hand is going to start to come across. I'm going to trip him over my calf. Uh, not my hip. It's a little over my calf, and I'm trying to throw him right there. My back at this point is still relatively straight. Once I come across with that leg, I'm going to push drive and throw in that direction. Down hard, and then you can grip away, and then do the tie. 
But basically, I'm showing you is you can do tile one hand. This way right here. Snap. Pivot around. Just whack the arm with this hand. Whack the arm, come across. For you people that are more advanced and pick that up quick, the combination would be to pull G guard and then not to help push. OG one hand is not. OG comes off it, one hand is not. You other people just try snapping the key, snap, turn, one hand is not. All right, get a partner, let's go. Do something called the uh, Neo Soto Guard. Again, this is for off, when you fight opposite sided people. So left against right or right against left. You would never do this on. Same side, left, 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 okay? Only against the opposite side. Again, you want to have inside control if you're going to hold the lapel. You have to sleeve, okay? If you're somebody that grabs the neck in judo, you want to, you want to have this person either, you want to either have them munched down like this where their head is against your shoulder, or you want to have, again, inside control. That's always the basics. Inside control, you have better control. Offense and defense. So, from here, you're going to hold inside. All right? The way the throw is, basically all it is is a hook. It's a stretch and it's a hook. You're actually going to be hooking the knee with your heel. Toe pointed down this way. Okay? Throwing motion is hook the knee, hop to it, and re throw. What you do with your hands is very important. The timing is also very important. Okay? So, the hands pull, the sleeve pulls in to you, pull to your waist. This hand comes up and it pushes the head. So it's this here. And as you do, you're pulled. And it's a pull. Once I get in there, um, pull, push, and pull. pull. And you're hooking that leg. Pull yourself in. And once you're there, it's hot. Head down, leg up, finish the throw. Okay? So also the timing of it is very important. Sometimes when you're fighting, you're walking, you're waiting, but you're waiting to, when he transfers his weight, all his weight onto that foot, if you catch him then, he'll almost buckle underneath it. Because he thinks that the step is secure, and all of a sudden his knee buckles, he start to fall, you don't have to do much else other than run him over. Okay? So if I was static here, looking for the throw, I would hook, pull the sleeve, Push, and then hop to it, push the head. Here. <laughs> We're walking around fighting. I look for the time. I look for the time when he stepped, stepped his way onto that leg, and then I would do it then. Okay? So again, the basics, pull, pull the sleeve as you're gonna go. It's pull hook, hop to it, hop to it, and then. Head down, leg up strong, finish the press. Lefty on righty, and of course righty can do it to lefties. Just the opposite way, here, here, Okay? Spread out, give it a try. Especially on people where you're afraid to just shoot you with your model. What this does is it, it allows you, if I miss this, he pulls that foot back. If I go for this, now he's in position for me to shoot my own out. It freezes him. He's looking for that. I look for that and then it's rather than just being hesitant, not knowing when to attack the Jamada. I look for Osoto, touch the leg, and then it's another setup. The other thing is. Good setup for the OG, I mean for the Osoto. If you can't get that leg all the time, you tap this leg first. 
So it's OG Gary first, just touch it. What that does is normally people pick that foot up, huh, and get off of it. So when he does that, it's Osoto. OG Osoto combination. I know I'm not really trying to throw OG Gary. What I'm trying to do is just freeze that leg so that I can get it on the Neo Soto I just showed you. Okay, so now you've got a couple combinations of options to think about. Not only do you have the Osoto, Osoto Ujimata, or OG, and then Osoto. Okay? Everybody grab some water, go into some randori. Thumb in the elbow, 
on the stomach, tie it up, elbow up, lift, elbow up, hips up, pin. Step in, and when you're planting leg, you want to have some bend in that leg. Some bend in the front of your foot. This way. You're punching off of that leg, and you explode up with your arm. So this kind of motion. Bend leg, lift. Bend, lift. And spring off of that leg. This way. Okay? Pull, pull. And then it's Spring and lift. Spring and lift. Okay? Then you turn your head, lift your leg, then finish. Alright? Pull onto you. This way. This hand pulls in and up. This hand under your chin. Feet. Pull. Deep. Bent leg. Spring off of that leg. Uh, spring off of it, lift, turn, finish. Just trying to teach you the basics of Uchimata. Watch out. Pull. Make sure you don't step in the middle with this foot because then there's no place to put your other one. Okay? So step wide outside. Step your other foot in deep. Spring off of it. Lift, finish. When I do this, I'm never learning that transfer. Sure, I'm learning the kazushi, huh? but I'm not learning the transfer of the balance. So each one of my chikomis, if I practice in Jumata, I should, I should almost, at least I should have a transfer of weight 100% and be able to lift this way. Huh? Always transfer the weight onto the foot. You're reinforcing the habit that you need huh? and getting used to the coordination of the balance required to do the throw. Hmm? So keep that in mind if you guys are drilling with your cones. At least I know your coaches are here. <laughs> we'll remind you, just here, boom, boom, and then drive lift. Now I'm in the position that I just showed you. Right back to your stomach. Here, 
Get my arm. I'm in position with the Gigi guitar. Skirt, come in, tight, this way. 